हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सतीश फ्रॉम एस एस क्लासेस डॉट इन एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल साइंस के साथ दोस्तों अगर आप टीवाई बी एस सेमेस्टर फोर्थ के एमसी क्यूज विद आंसर पीडीएफ में भी चाहते हो यूट्यूब पर भी सर्च करोगे और गूगल पर भी सर्च करोगे तो सबसे पहला हमारे अलावा कोई भी आपका ऑप्शन नहीं है प्ले में जाकर देख लीजिए ईच वीडियो एक भी मिस नहीं किया है अगर चैनल पर आप नए हो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए और नोटिफिकेशन भी ऑन कर लीजिए ईच वीडियो आप तक खुद ब खुद आएगा आपको कई सर्च करने की जरूरत ही नहीं प्रीवियस वीडियोस अभी तक नहीं देखे प्लेलिस्ट में जाके देख लीजिए पूरे वीडियोस आपको मिल जाएंगे एक भी वीडियोस फिर से बता रहा एक भी वीडियोस मिस नहीं किया है इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इंडस्ट्रियल केमिस्ट्री एज वेल एज फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री भी कंप्लीट होने के आया है और एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री का आज सेकंड वीडियो जल्दी हम कंप्लीट कर लेंगे बिफोर ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडे वीडियो ऑफ एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड चैप्टर इज क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड दट इज chromatography term was first introduced by so which scientist was introduced this chromatography term here options michel swett or the martin gauss and none of these so here the correct option is number 1 and that is michel swett second question is uh, ion exchange chromatography is based on so which is the property or the principle of ion exchange chromatography here options is uh, stationary and uh, mobile phase or exchange of ions or adsorption and last one is none of these so here the correct option is exchange of ions because the ion exchange between stationary solid phase called ion exchangers and the components present in mobile phases so first option is uh, 50% correct but the exact principle is the exchange of ions next one question in partition chromatography the stationary phase is always so which one is solid or uh, liquid or uh, gas or solid and liquid so here correct answer is liquid because the partition chromatography is also known as sometimes liquid liquid chromatography because the stationary phase and the mobile phase are liquid only fourth number question the solid support for liquid liquid chromatography can be so which is solid support for liquid liquid chromatography or uh, in terms of partition chromatography so silica gel alumina or the porous diatomaceous earth or starch so here correct option is silica gel because this is used as a solid support in this partition chromatography or the simple liquid liquid chromatography next one the process of development in chromatography is called so what is that elevation or the elevate or eloent or none of these so remember second third and the fourth option is wrong because eloent is the terms of a noun eloent is the noun my is, my trick is to define any process is a uh, ending ending the word of t i o n so elevation is the process or phenomenon right so elevation is the correct answer for this question option number a Six number question the fixed phase in chromatography is also called as so here options here solid support or the stationary or alumina or here mobile phase so fixed phase in uh, any chromatography is the solid support this is the correct option so friends ekdam express ki raftar se ja rahe hum ekdam fast aapki revision kara rahe aur 100% aapko yaad rahega 25 questions is video mein cover karne wale hai next question the mobile phase used for development in chromatography is known as so options here elevate or uh, eluting agent or eluent or here solvation mobile phase is the traveling phase right so, correct option for this question is eluting agent or uh, sometimes it is also known as eluting solvent also eight number question for the separation of closely related compounds column used are so for this short in length or the of a bigger diameter or a long or last one is very longer so this is a column are used in short in in length this is a separation of closely related compounds for only now next one question the liquid liquid chromatography is also called as starting of this video i just discussed that the liquid liquid chromatography is also called as partition right so here answer is revealed firstly but uh, adsorptions and the partitions are the main type of chromatography and this is gas liquid chromatography is another type of sub types of chromatography right and last one is none of this but the correct answer is just reveal and that is the partition chromatography is the correct answer for this question 10 number question 10 number mcq is apna uh, for the basic compounds the adsorbent is used example is a uh, 
सेलिका जल और एलमिना और लाइमस्टोन और नन ऑफ दी सो हियर करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑलवेज एलमिना इज यूज एज एडसॉर्बेंट फॉर द बेसिक कंपाउंड्स इलेवन नंबर क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज एड्स ऑप्शन इज नॉट जनरली सुटेबल फॉर द सेपरेशन ऑफ कंपाउंड्स विच आर सो वट टाइप ऑफ कंपाउंड्स आर नॉट सुटेबल फॉर द एड्स ऑप्शन प्रोसेस एंड दिस इज मोर पोलर और पोलर और नॉन पोलर एंड लास्ट वन इज लेस पोलर but the compounds is non polar then this adds option is not generally suitable so here non polar is correct option 12 number question chromatographic separation involves a series of equilibrium processes of the solid between two which phases yes you have to choose the correct option so here miscible or immiscible then non polar and less polar so for this question the correct answer is immiscible Column efficiency is expressed in terms of so what is the terms to express this column efficiency term? So here polarity or the height or number of theoretical plates that is capital N and last one is none of these. So here the correct option is number C and that is number of theoretical plates that is capital N. So friends, अभी तक subscribe नहीं किया जल्दी से subscribe के लिए video को एक like तो बनता है. Now next one question. The solution coming out of the column is called. So what is that? It's short bond or the Eluent agent or eluate or none of these. So this is called as eluate. Remember the solution coming out of the column, in particularly column chromatography. Now 15 more question. Stationary phase in adsorption chromatography. As we discussed, the adsorption chromatography and the partition chromatography are the two main types of the chromatography. So what is the stationary phase in this? adsorption chromatography here options are solid liquid gas and none of these so here correct option is always remember solid is the stationary phase in adsorption chromatography now next one question is mobile phase in liquid liquid type of chromatography is so as the name indicates that's the liquid liquid we must uh, understand that the mobile phase as well as the stationary phase are liquid only so here uh, solid liquid gas and none of these so b option is correct for this question now 17 number question rf value is so what is the full form we have to choose rf is the retardation factor or reverse force or a rest factor last one is none of these so here correct option is retardation factor this is the rf full form now 17 number question in a paper chromatography which is used as a solid support options here silica gel or alumina or filter paper and last one is all of these so in paper chromatography the name indicate that the paper is the solid support and this is correct answer is the filter paper 18 number question open column chromatography is the kind of options here are partition chromatography adsorption chromatography or the column chromatography and last one is none of these so as we discussed the partition and the adsorptions are the two kinds of the are the main types of the chromatography and the open column chromatography is also known as a tlc or the tlc known as open column chromatography and tlc is belonging to adsorption chromatography therefore the open column chromatography is a kind of adsorption chromatography now 19 number question what is the use of tlc tlc is the thin layer chromatography you know very well and the, what is the use of that so here to identify sugar in urine urine may say sugar identify karna or the to check the purity of organic compounds all organic compounds ki purity check karna or the to detect the poisons metal ions or the drugs and here option last is all of these for this question and such a type of question all of these answers must be correct right but not necessary every time but remember though 20 number question which is not advantage of chromatographic methods so here are uh, extremely sensitive or uh, apparatus and assembly is a very simple or simple effective method at ordinary temperature that means normal temperature room temperature and last one is that these methods are generally incomplete so we need to find here disadvantage of these uh, chromatographic methods all the chromatographic methods like as partition or adsorption or any types of right subtypes of the chromatographics so all have the a b c are the advantages and so here last option is correct because the all chromatographic methods are incomplete Now question number 21 in TLC the mobile phase liquid is also called as so what is the another name for mobile phase liquid 
in TLC particularly thin layer chromatography here option stationary phase or steady phase or developing solvent and last one is none of this if you perform the TLC in the, your laboratory then you must know that the compounds which is used or the solvent which is used in TLC assembly then that compound is traveling or the developing that compound is known as a developing solvent so we are checking that RF values for product and RF values of a reactant right so that solvent is known as developing solvent in particularly TLC mobile phase liquid Kelly now 22 number question the selection of developing solvent in TLC is nearly similar to that in so just we discussed the developing solvent is a mobile phase in this TLC is there any chromatography method the selection is similar to TLC so here options so here partition chromatography or the liquid liquid chromatography or a paper chromatography and last one is column chromatography so here partition and the liquid liquid are the same but the here correct option is column chromatography for the column chromatography and TLC that is thin layer chromatography the selection of a developing solvent is nearly similar now 23rd number question the ion exchange chromatography is used for so what is the use of ion exchange chromatography so here options laboratory separation or the purification of water or extraction of metal and last one is all of these so as usual all of these is the correct answer for this question now 24 number question ion exchangers or resin must fulfill the condition ion exchangers are sometimes called as resin so just we added this word resin so here are chemically stable or denser than water or hydrophilic and then last one is all of these so here the correct answer is all of these again now last one question from this video mobile phase in adsorption chromatography is as earlier we had discussed the stationary phase in adsorption chromatography is solid but here mobile phase is what is the mobile phase in adsorption chromatography here alternatives are gas or liquid or solid and last one is both a and b so here you have to remember for the adsorption chromatography the gas or the liquid any type of mobile phase can be used so here option t is correct for this question so friends i hope all the 25 questions you have understood properly and you must know all the answers right so friends is video ko janne se pehle chal this like kar lijiye aur apne doston ke sath share kijiye zyada se zyada is video ko milte hain next video mein next chapter ke sath next mcqs with answer ke sath tab tak ke liye bane rahiye mere sath and goodbye